That's right, your favourite indie game boy has deceived you. You've been taken for a ride. You were the mark, and you fell for the bait. Okay, uh, you're not really fools, and I haven't even really deceived you. I've just been lazy with doing YouTube stuff, so I haven't actually had the chance to let you guys know about this crazy business on my YouTube channel. Basically, I finally got contract work. Together with the project leader test object, or Dita Soons, I, I don't know how to pronounce her name, I'm sorry, don't fire me. The person who actually made me aware of the contract to begin with, which is number one Italian boy Hyrek, and a few other people from music and such who I don't really interact with, were working on a game which is tentatively being called Ghost Town. I had to sign a contract, I'm getting compensated, everything is great. It's not even a huge workload, it's only like four hours a week minimum. Uh, but hey, it's something, and since it's the first time I can actually call myself employed, it's actually super exciting. So, what exactly is this sort of secret project? Well, it's not actually meant to be secret, it's just I haven't told anybody. As the name might suggest, it's about ghosts. The objective is to send out ghosts, spook people in a game show-like setting, in order to entertain the underworld. It's kind of a real-time strategy game in that it's real-time and you have to do strategies, but it looks way different, as you might be able to see, depending on whether I use actual gameplay footage for the B-roll. It's kind of early days at the moment, and there's still not, strictly speaking, any gameplay to speak of. It's all designed, but I, we haven't programmed it yet. It's really only room generation and some extremely basic human AI. I've been working on the uh, human AI, whereas Hyrick has been working more on the room generation. We have been using Git, so we can easily enough merge our changes together as we work on them, avoid conflicts easily, but I already have a video on Git coming up, so let's not get into that right now. Personally, I really like this game. It, I wasn't really involved in the initial design, and I'm trying to keep my hands off the design a little bit because I feel that maybe my design skills could benefit most from seeing how someone else does things. I mean, I should still improve, and I've never tried to program a game for someone else's design before, so I still think it's a super valuable experience in multiple ways. Kind of stumble over that sentence, don't mind me. But the point is that yes, this game is super cool. I really like the underworld game show theme, and I like that the, the real objective of the game is to keep your ghostly viewers, or patrons as they're called in the game, uh, entertained. If they are not entertained enough, as represented by a little bar on the side of the screen, you will lose and you'll have to start back again from the beginning of the level. So yes, fun times ahead. I'm still working on my other game, Relax, so don't worry about that taking a back seat. I'm uh, working on that today, actually. I have had kind of a turbulent week, so I haven't gotten too much done in case you're wondering why I've made like no progress on such a simple game, but I'm trying my best, and I'm not dead yet, so I'm still able to work on these here videoed games. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos about this game, but I don't know how many because I don't want to spoil things and I feel kind of awkward being the sole arbiter of public relations about the game for the moment. Goodbye.